Hey folks, welcome to my Let's Play of Lakeburg Legacies. Now, before we get started, I do want to do a bit of an intro, so timestamps if you do want to skip ahead to the game. But, I just gotta say, <laughs> I don't know, I just gotta say thank you so much for the support you showed on my Let's Try of the demo version of this game. It, it was insane. It's insane. It's insane to me. The, the response I've gotten and the engagement on that and the views on that has just been super encouraging, I guess you could say. Because I've been doing this channel for quite some time now. If you've been following along, it's been, I don't know, maybe it's been, <laughs> it's been like uh, three years or four years, nine years, I don't know. Um, it's been a while. And to be, you know, to be honest, doing like an atypical Let's Play series of anything is not really the best way to start a YouTube channel, I guess, because, you know, it's like old form content, I guess you could say, but like, I've done like video essays as well, and you know, that really hasn't taken off, <laughs> but to see that like, Lakeburg Legacies, of all things, like a let's try of, of a demo of a game, just like blew up, and I have been watching that video back just to be like, what? What has changed here? Why is this different? I still don't know the answer. All I know is that I am so grateful for all of you who participated in that, who watched that, who liked it. This is a thousand likes on that video. That's insane to me. And you know what? I was also thinking about like, should that be the only video that I ever have success on on this channel? I'm like okay with that because like it was, it pretty much encapsulates like just who I am in terms of like my humor and how dumb it is and everything and everyone just sort of who was watching it just sort of bought into that and so I'm just like like if, if they've watched it and they appreciate it if you 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 the viewer if you watched it and you appreciated it then it's like you know then you laugh then you are with me in that sense and I don't know I don't know how to describe it it's just it almost feels like if that's like my peak <laughs> if I've peaked on that video then I'm kind of grateful for it because you, you all were with me on that journey and it's just it feels, it feels good. It feels good. I don't know. I'm trying to get my words together to even have a cohesive thought for this intro. At any rate, um, I hope you enjoy this Let's Play. I know, look, I'm well aware that it's probably not going to garner the same attention. Totally fine with that. Totally cool with that. But I do want to play this game on the channel. I said I would, and now it's here. So without further ado, let's play some Lakeburg Legacies. And also, this game is a little different. It turned out to be a little different than I thought it would be. Not necessarily a bad thing, just a different thing. At any rate, we're gonna find out together. So, uh, thank you for joining me on this. Let's get to it. Alrighty, so I've played a couple of hours of this game just to get like a foothold and a general idea of how things work. And honestly, <laughs> I was actually considering playing this at the hardest difficulty, but it might not be that fun of a watch and uh, that fun to play, to be honest with you. So like the, the way that this game approaches difficulty is not so much adding more obstacles or different challenges per se as it is just sort of prolonging gameplay. And what I mean by that is just like adding penalties and negative effects um, and then having everything cost more in terms of production. It becomes super meta in the sense where you start not really appreciating a lot of like the family stuff, the romance stuff. Uh, in the game, and uh, yeah, so it just becomes much more of a city builder, but really drawn out. Honestly, I feel like the best way, like, in terms of a balance, is kind of maybe Journeyman. Because you would think like this adds a lot, a greater degree of challenge, and it does, but in that, when you add more challenge, at least the way that this game treats it, is that you lose sight of like the fun and interesting stories that develop with people. And to be quite frank, um, I still feel like they're still missing a lot of that <laughs> in this. And this game is, leans in a lot more to being a, a colony simulator or a, a city building simulator in that sense. But in order for us to really take in a lot of the characterization of this game, which I think is a really interesting, which has a lot of interesting things in it, I'm going to say we go with Journeyman. And it's, you know what, I'm going to be honest with you, it's still pretty drawn out in this way. And things still have a, a great degree of cost, uh, so it's not like a walk in the park. It's not a wall in the park. It's not a wall in the park. Every moment of our life was lived in a gated community with sure. a personal security guard. 
but it was not a walk no. in the park. I think Journeyman is, is a happy medium. I'm going to launch the tutorial as well because there's still th some things that I'm still learning and, and still trying to get used to. Uh, there's a lot of mechanisms in this game that I'm surprised by. So it's it's pretty dense. It's surprisingly dense, I'd say. In terms of uh, duration, so you have classic, you have about 75 years to complete the game. It's the original experience. Um, this is a perfect balance between village development and villagers lineage progression. I'd say yeah, actually. I think I think 75 years is pretty accurate in the sense of like getting your your kingdom, your fiefdom, your serfdom together. And then you can go up to like long for a hundred years and then endless mode is still an experimentation. At any rate, we're gonna be playing classic mode. We're gonna do game style custom because it's all journeyman. Well, let me, let's take a look here. We got management here. Then we have social, which brings everything down to, and it even makes things cheaper to build. And then we have regular, which I guess we're doing. <laughs> I did custom for everything for regular, but yeah, we'll just be doing regular. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So the introduction, so just so you know, the tutorial isn't that long. It's mainly just getting you started, but here we go. So introduction, welcome to Lakeburg, my child. My name is Timdra and I am a psychic, like my mother and her mother before her. I am an expert in lonely hearts. I just love weddings, spicing up other people's lives and finding them and finding a soulmate. Uh, is my whole life. <laughs> okay, a vision led me to this godforsaken hole with little luck and a lot of seduction. Lakeburg can become a true haven of love and you will assist me in this goal. What? Yes, you were in my vision and now we've got work to do. You'll want to find my cart nearby, so knock on my door uh, when you want to find someone to marry. And then we have Childebert, our first villager whose uh, descent will form the very foundation of Lakeburg. And then we have, let us find an occupation for him. Right, so to get started, as we mentioned before, we gotta put him in the, put him in the lumber lodge. That's pretty much like the first thing we've gotta do. Now, uh, it's also gonna give us a little rundown of how the workers, or like how work functions in terms of stats. So in order to produce higher quantities, lumberjacks must have a good athletics skill. Uh, in order to produce quickly, lumberjacks must have good strength, uh, must have a good strength stat. Uh, work, lumberjacks will be happier if they belong to the peasant class. The impact on their morale will be reduced. Um, yeah, so there are different classes in the game. It's peasant, artisan, artisan, and noble. But yes, so peasants work well in the lumberjack. Future villagers will be sorted depending on their potential to work in the displayed building. Uh, drop and drag villagers to the slot. Right, sure. Okay, so one thing you have to keep in mind here is while we can see the potential with Carpenter, Lumberjack, and Builder, and these like really solid stars mean their XP will grow faster if they're doing these jobs in particular, despite Lumberjack being at one. I will say though, I should state that it can get a little unwieldy at times, especially because um, when you have a lot of people, it can be kind of hard to discern where they would work um, which place they would best work in um, at a glance. You would actually have to click on the worker and look in your look yourself. You'll see as we continue on. But this one's pretty easy. Just dump Childebert in here. So now let me start uh, the clock and let us begin to wait for Childebert to chop wood. Uh, we're going to pause, actually, Tindra. How dare you? <laughs> so what we're going to do first is we have 300 gold. We're going to spend the first... 150 on that. We're not gonna do working conditions. We're gonna save the other 150 and I'm really just doubling up because wood wood is life uh, Wood is the world wood is how we start the game now I do also want to check out He's homeless, right? So we should put him in a house and I think Tindra will guide us to that. Oh, it's locked out that option Huh? <laughs> you know what? I was like, let's start off with the tutorial because um, uh, I was like, it'd be nice to have a little refresher and, and look things and read through things with y'all. But you know what? I'm starting to feel like it might be a nuisance. <laughs> we're not going to do We're going to play without the tutorial. Okay, we're going to just do it. All right, my let's play, I got to do whatever I want. We're going to leave. <laughs> oh, God. I was <laughs> Me and my brilliant last minute ideas. I was like, let's just do the tutorial. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. All right, let's just get this started. All right, we have Gabrielle here. He, all right, he's our first character. Uh, Lumberjack passionate in. Oh, nice reroll there. I think they kind of lean in and give you the benefit of the doubt in terms of Lumberjack as your first character. We got Mason and Man of the Evening. Um, all right, cool. So Rowdy, Coward, and Bored kind of gives you a general idea of who he is um, at a glance. He's also weak, so minus two in strength, which is not the best thing, especially if you want him to be the Lumberjack, but it is what it is. Let's go ahead and send him to the Lumberjack here. 
put him in there, upgrade wood so that he can start building. Now we do need to get a house going and once we get four wood, we'll be able to build that house and get him uh, in a home, essentially. Uh, we also need him to be married. Now, I, th I think we can just do this because I was thinking like maybe we wait and open up for a second place. So next thing in our build list, as you can see here, it's no longer like in the demo where you're forced to build sequentially. There's actually three different paths you can take. So you have primary resources and prestige buildings. You have transformed resources and then various effects. Now, each of these buildings allow you to basically acquire these resources. Every time a citizen levels up, they get different like annual needs, I guess they call them here. They want wood now, or he wants wood, Gabrielle does, but then eventually he'll want, I think this is vegetables? I, I forget, but you'll see that they'll start to unlock and as they do, you'll wanna get buildings that sort of follow that path. For right now, what we wanna do is build the farm. When a citizenship ranks up to number two, I think you'll want vegetables. So let's go ahead and queue up the farm. So in a lot of ways, it's still kind of like the sequential order, but it's a lot more loose and varied because now it depends on the citizen themselves rather than like getting the resources to build things quicker. Oh, okay. That makes sense. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're all, okay. I think I get it. What do you mean? He's homeless right now, but you know what? Let's already start getting him into a relationship. I'm gonna do surroundings, like Berg means, you know, people in the area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do surroundings. Now here's like another thing that I realized as I was playing the higher difficulty, it becomes like a super, meta kind of management style game and I'm gonna be real with you uh, if I want to play like art like that kind of style of gameplay you can play a lot of different games <laughs> in that genre so for me uh, approaching this game in particular I was like I really want to play the aspect of like relationships because that's like it's quirk that's like it's interesting take on the city building I guess colony survival genre and I really want to lean into that but where it becomes difficult is at the higher levels, you can really like metagame everything and just choose specific people who fit in with certain um, buildings that you want them to be employed at without really worrying about affinity, if I'm being quite honest. But at this lower level, you can sort of strike the, the balance between both. Uh, and the reason for that is because it's a lot more forgiving in that sense. But at any rate, we have average affinity. For me, I like to go good. I like to stop at good or excellent, depending. So. I'm gonna keep going here. And hearts can be easily, you can easily get hearts back as long as you have enough people in a relationship. So let's see, Ooh, bad, good. Baker, innkeeper, and butcher. So these are something that we don't need right now. So we're gonna have to uh, skip on him. Farm, right? It goes with strength and nature. Oh, okay. So since farming goes with strength and nature. Oh, we just click this and <laughs> we got someone. Huntress. So Huntress is good for the hunter. Oh, I kind of want it though because the affinity is excellent. And the better that a couple matches, the better that they're in love, you get more hearts. And I've also noticed that, I don't know if this has like been adjusted <laughs> in, in the back end, but it is harder to come by excellent and perfect matches in the game, even on Journeyman, than it was like in the demo. So it's kind of like hard for me to pass up excellent. Um, oh, look at this, uh, Renhilde owns the romantic trait in Affinity plus five. Okay, look, Huntress is just another building over, quote unquote, um, what, what, I don't know why I did quote unquote, it is the next building over in terms of like the build chain that we're going to go for, <laughs> but we're just going to go for this. Now, here's the thing, we're going to click yes, but before you do, here's some, me yeah, yeah, I know, I'm going to give you some meta tips right now. Here we go. Here's the meta tip, all right? So as you click yes, you're gonna get an option to actually use your heart points to unveil like the correct answers you, sh you should go for during their date. But instead of doing that, I suggest you one, grab a pen or a pencil, two, grab some paper, and three, start writing. I know that's like some meta tip <laughs> for you. No, I have like really crap memory, so this is kind of a struggle for me. Sometimes I'm able to get it, sometimes I don't, but whenever you have an affinity of excellent like this, and they're like your first couple, for me it's always like, I want to get it right the first time. So, likes, we got flow, that's how I shorten flowers, then you got fish, and reading, 
And then for dislikes, you got med or medi for meditation for me. And then I got monies and then musk for muscles. But anyways, that's how I'm going to do it. All right. So I'm writing like in a notepad right now. Anyways, Gabrielle and Rinhilde are enjoying a boat ride on the lake's tranquil waters. Considering how romantic it is, would it be, would now be the, wouldn't now be the ideal time to go for it? Well, sitting on a cushion to meditate, do these people not have something more useful to do? Um, criticize the work of the realm's best painter. Now, she hates meditation, so criticizing them would be the right thing to do here. Um, Rinhilde cannot uh, sit still for more than two minutes. She has no patience whatsoever for this weird and grotesque and borderline evil hobby. Now, I'm kidding, of course. Meditating is good for you. They're just really quirky people. Let's continue this charming rendezvous. Um, they're spending time in the inn, emptying a few glasses. Will the warm atmosphere help them break the ice? Okay, so the abundance, the abundance of fishermen makes swimming in the lake far less enjoyable. Be uh, better to be direct. Poetry is a waste of time. Interesting. She loves fishing, so criticizing fishermen would not be a good thing. Criticizing poetry uh, would be a good thing. Right? Poifect, poifect. Are you gonna kiss me or what? Once the surprise was gone, when Hilde appreciated Gabrielle's directness. Ooh. Say what you, uh, say what about going up the hill to enjoy the moonlight? So both enjoy the pale moonlight. This unique moment allows them to get to know each other better. Worrying that books may corrupt the young. Talk about the importance of cuddles in a loving relationship. They, she loves reading. So this would not fly. So talk about how cuddles... Talk about the importance of cuddles in a loving relationship. Yeah, that's good, right? Poifict. Poifict love to see it. Um, and as you can see on the, on the left side, that's where you could spend heart points to get a better idea of what the right answer was. You don't need that if, if you have a pen and paper. Okay, so let us rejoice together to get married. Yes, I do. Affinity is excellent. Love to see it. Congratulations. Now, the thing is, though... Oh, she can cut here. What's her strength like? Her strength is a two. Interesting, but she's like... I mean, look, it's pretty bad. It's below three. It's below average. But, I mean, she could she could pull her weight in here should we have enough wood. All right, so... Oh, here's a cool thing. They've changed um, recruitment and barter to be on one tab here. Of course, you can click individually to get straight to it. But should you be, like, clicking recruitment first or barter? It's just, This is just a nice change of paste. Paste? pace okay so let us start the time i'm gonna go let's see what speed shall we go how long is it gonna take 112 days man uh the first time i played this i had i was so unlucky i had somebody who was not good at uh, uh getting the wood and there was like a 378 day kind of wait time oh it was horrible absolutely dreadful and i was, and I was playing on hard mode so maybe Maybe that's why I was so unlucky with that character draw. At any rate, we have someone who's passionate in it, so they'll only get better and faster. Because once they, if they have that aspiration, they get XP quicker, I believe. At any rate, uh, yeah, she's unemployed. We're going to wait on this for a bit. We can just speed up time until we get our first round of wood. There we go. We're going to go ahead and build the house and put them in the house. Now, since Gabrielle is our first, he gets to live there. Poifect, poifect. Uh, the relationship starts off pretty strong. Love to see it. Now, we're going to have to wait five months for the next recruitment of people. So, yeah, we're just going to have to wait. In terms of the farm, only 30 wood is needed. So I'm just going to speed up time again. Ooh, pony ride. Rinhilde and Gabrielle try to escape their daily life to spend some time together. Gabrielle would like to share his growing passion for uh, Rinhilde by suggesting a romantic pony ride in the countryside. Oh, yes. What's cool, though, is you can also check... Um, possible outcomes influenced by hobby something about to happen or refuse I mean we, we don't know we don't know but we're gonna go for it they're they're married we want to build that love we want to nurture that love let's see what happens to avoid offending Gabrielle when Hilde accepted his proposition Unfortunately, her pony was the rebellious kind, and the romantic ride abruptly ended when Renhilde fell to the ground. Laughing out loud, Gabrielle completed Ren completed Renhilde's shame. Completes it? Don't com incomplete it. Don't finish the shame. Oh my. So uh, she's going to get the offended trait. They're both going to get the offended trait. And uh, concerning the couple, it's a minus, it's a plus two to affection? Huh. How does that work? So if we go to relationships or life, 
I don't know. Where do you find the offended trait? Like, is that like in the background somewhere? Let's see. I know you can go to their houses. Oh, we can build the the lumberjack again. If you go to their house, sorry, folks, if you know where that is. Yeah, I'm still learning a lot of different things about this game. I, this is, you know, I'm gonna be real with you. There's a lot of freaking menus here. I remember someone commenting on my last on the demo video that I did. And they said, a lot of the UI looks super overwhelming, um, but I'm glad to have seen you play it because, uh, you know, I guess they, they got a better grasp of it when they see someone play it. But I'm going to be real with you, the the UI in this game, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot, and it's not as streamlined as you would imagine a game of this kind to be. I'm not sure why, but it is what it is. Uh, we're going to go get it for the build here. So they're offended. It says they got the offended trait. Not entirely sure what that means, but they're offended. But their potential, their love potential, which you can check if you go to the house over here, says uh, they're in pretty good straits because this went up, right? You can also spend uh, hearts here to increase their love, their affection, their affinity for each other. Yeah, so that's cool too. So you can help guide them in that way. It's only breaking up, which is uh, harder to do. It sucks. We can't fill this in. Now, the thing is, can we... Yeah, we're just gonna toss her in here. She, I don't think she's gonna- Oh, yeah, the ambiance is good. Oh, yeah, there's like an ambience thing as well. Like the vibes, like people who work well together do better, that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, they're vibing. They like it. They like working with each other. Why not? Married couple, you know? But we have no one um, getting vegetables. So, oh, we can recruit. Good. Uh, time's up. So we got a dancer, groupier, a painter, a miner, man of the evening, and another lumberjack, which is pretty good. But what we really need right now is someone who can work the farm. Let's see. Your strength is five. I don't really have anything with nature. And then your strength is also five. He's also a noble, which is kind of odd because while he's like good at like mining and stuff, he might not like working in this facility, right? Now, the reason why I like Evander is because he can also chop wood so the moment we get a true farmer someone who can actually farm we can like move them in to like this lumberjack lodge and then we can move her out to the hunter's lodge which is essentially the next building we should get going as well so i don't know what to do here we do need a third person we need someone working now i think that's what i'm gonna do that's the play we're gonna go for let's go get a vander for eight gold by the way these animations are brilliant i love I love them. Okay, so we're just gonna toss him in here. He's not gonna do his best here. His morale might even go down, but yeah, we gotta we gotta start somewhere. We're gonna spend 110 gold actually to get uh, wheat going already. Um, a lot of these structures do have multi-purposes to them, so like to get that early. He's homeless. Let's go ahead and build him a house. We need wood. We can go ahead and build that for him. So here you go, Evander. You get to live here, buddy. Um, and while he's there, we now have another opportunity. Ooh, we have an opportunity to build a Hunter's Lodge. Perfect. Okay, so we're building the Hunter's Lodge now, but I also want to take this opportunity. Oh, we can recruit a new person. Oh, this is happening quite fast. All right, so we have a Lumberjack. Ooh, that's good. That's good. Livestock Farmer. What's your strength? Strength 5. Nature, 67. So she can actually go to the farm, which is pretty cool. Um, we're just gonna do that right now. We also have to strike this balance of not getting too many villagers at one time because that can put a strain on our resources early. I think what we're gonna do now is get her. Um, and then let me just see if they would match. Would you two, Evander and, and Bethilde, uh, would you two, do you two like each other? Perhaps fancy one another? No, you, no, okay, no. <laughs> What is, wait, what was that? It says, owns the mean trait. Yikes. And the Vander's funny. You're mean, Benhilde, Bathilde, B-Lady. You're mean? She's obstinate, so she's determined. She's mean, yeah. She <laughs> is static when seeing children cry. Same. We didn't say that, uh, no, but it... It looks an awful lot like that, it doesn't, doesn't it? it? Kidding! Humble don't mention it. Oh, she likes watching children cry, and then when she makes the children cry, she's like, don't worry about it, don't mention it. It's joyful for everybody to watch children cry. Um, and she's determined at it. She hates children. Um, 
<laughs> okay, so we're gonna... What? What a... I just love the way their traits are formed. Like, this guy, Evander, he's rowdy, right? A little rambunctious. But he's funny, and, you know, he just has a slight dreary look, like, on the world. But you know what? I think he's a wholesome guy. I really do. Um, yeah, would not would not mesh well with ben, with Bethilde here. So now that we do have these folks, let's go ahead and fire Renhilde. Fire her. Let's go ahead and I know he was working up to get <laughs> to produce things. We're just gonna take him out of it. We're gonna put Bethilde in here. We're gonna go ahead and switch Evander into here where he should be working right now. And then we'll put, oh, she's gonna thrive. She's gonna thrive. She loves working here. Good for her. But now we have an opportunity to get new people in here, which I'm not going to do. I don't want to overwhelm our resources or strain our resources. We have one homeless villager, so let's go ahead and speed up time here to get some wood. In terms of recruitment, where do we stand? We have a mason, blacksmith, guard, lady of the evening, fisherman. Um, you know what? So where do we, what do I want to build right now? I'm going to go for sewing. So the hunter's cabin will thankfully give us some uh, tanning? What do they call this? Leather. It's gonna give us leather on top. It's only gonna get us leather. Oh, right, because we need to get, we need to make this purchase in order to get, uh, meat. So, we're gonna get leather going. It's not gonna be a lot. In fact, we can actually check how much we produce. Like, I like actually also going to details. Here you can get, like, a general idea of how much, like, um, you're getting in terms of like your pluses and stuff but i like to look at the minuses as well like needs uh, we're getting um we're stockpiling and nobody wants vegetables right now which is good but i think people are going to want clothes next so that's why i want to go ahead and try and build a sewing shop quickly which means we're going to need a seamster or a seamstress someone who can make clothing yeah i don't think we're going to want to go after them plus it requires money and right now we don't want to use our monies. We need to make monies. Uh, we can make monies if we can sell 13 veggies. We have three months to do this. I'm not sure if we're going to make that. We get six per year. Yeah, we're not going to make that. So we're just going to have to be in this holding pattern. Um, so this is what I meant. So in the harder difficulties, you'll actually be in like these holding patterns where you're waiting for resources to gather a lot more often than in the journeyman um, difficulty. And... I don't think that's relatively fun, if I'm being quite honest. And also, after a couple of days, his offer will change. Still doing vegetables. I mean, it largely varies on the resources you produce anyway, so it's not like we're gonna have many variations. We can only hope that we get wood uh, as, as something that he wants. But we can start building now uh, the mason workshop, uh, which we're not gonna do. We're gonna wait for leather. Six a year. Oh, that's that's kind of brutal. Yeah, you know what? Let's go ahead and bring some people in. So I keep hitting. Oh, sorry, folks. I keep hitting escape, thinking it, it brings me back out of a menu. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and do couple. Let's let's do Beth Hilde first because she's 29. I would like a miner or a seamster or a seamstress, someone who can put clothes together. A builder and a groupier, something that we don't really need right now, which is a damn shame because they they pair well. Oh boy, I forgot what miners like. Cause I'm thinking I can just throw her in there for now. I think miner, the building requires strength. Builder, butcher, or carpenter, yikes. Lumberjack, oh miner, right here, okay. Although she's an excellent, I think we're gonna have to pass on her. It sucks, you hate to see it, but this is one of those moments where even if the affinity is excellent, there's just nothing that can help us here right now. Uh, by the way, Builder is freaking awesome. Later in the game, you get a building in which gives you, in which these workers could go in there and they work and they essentially produce tickets and you use these tickets to get discounts on upgrading buildings. It's freaking amazing. Anyways, we're gonna have to say no to her. Uh, it's called the Mason's Workshop. Okay, so I have like this thing, like, I don't know, I, I keep getting in confused, but okay, the Mason's Workshop produces uh, stone. For whatever reason for me, I can I conflate mining with stone, like stone mining. Um, just I guess from like video game <laughs> video game perspective. But the way that this game treats it is that masons work better uh, getting stone. And then there's another building right here, the mines. This mines produce iron. And so 
I always get that confused. So miners do well in the mining thing that produces iron. I always mix that up. And now that I lost my opportunity, I won't be able to get that guy again, which I pretty much really wanted. Damn it. So we want a mason. Oh, he's, he's right here. Yes, yeah, so this is not bad. Sitting in a cushion to meditate. Do these people not have anything better to do? So he loves meditation. So let's make fun of the fisher folk. And then a relish in the latest rumors circulating about... Okay, he hates gossip. He hates gossip. So we'll go ahead and... Oh, and he hates the countryside. Perfect. Let's criticize the countryside. And then ask Adam for his opinion on divination. Oh, he loves that shit. What? Adam's fortune teller has recently warned him to watch out for down-to-earth people. Oh, I didn't read that all the way. That was probably a negative connotation to divination. My bad. So they're only going to get... Uh, what is this? What's two bars? Or two gems so they start off right here and also just a heads up there when their love meter you know gets down to zero here which can happen for a numerous amount of reasons that's when they split ow i poked myself with a pen <laughs> that's when they can split naturally so we pretty much give them a launching point in their date uh, i do get married good for you too we'll go ahead and throw adam in here passionate about mining we have a vander here we're not really in the need to fill out any kind of employment, so I don't want to really get him to marry. Plus, he's 20, so there's a lot of time that we can let run, you know, before we think that he needs to get married. Because we want to pace our resources, right? And if we look here, like, every person, I think, needs wood, right? At the, at the base level, yeah. So we just want to be considerate about how much we make and how much we consume. See, now needs for vegetables is two. Perfect. So now that they're level two in citizenship, they need vegetables, right? So that's how that works. And you're sort of chasing this in a lot of ways. The The trick is to balance uh, and getting ahead of buildings before your people need them. So she's interesting. She's definitely interesting. Potential for Hunter. See, they always have this icon. Again, that's like something that they want to do because they have the most points in. But I would imagine that Baker with her passion would be something she would want to do the most in or aspiration. That's like something she'd want to do the most in, but I don't know. I guess that's not how it works. Anyways, willing to impress Evander, Bathilde uh, would like to participate in something important, an event that would show her at her best and showcase her quality. Now, Evander is a single dude, and Bathilde, are they friends? Are they, is this a potential love interest? They hate each other, though. Their affinity for each other is, like, super bad, so. Lakeburg's biggest eater outs the eating contest. Opportunity to get noticed. Well, manage not to get sick. Okay, so they're competing against each other. Not participate. Something about to happen. So, something happens either way. Influenced by Evander, but he has, like, food 0% versus f strength 5? I don't know what to choose here. I'm just going to go Strength 5 because he has Strength in it, I guess. After hesitating, Bathilde eventually refused to participate. Unsure she'd win. Oh, okay, okay. When suddenly she was surprised to see Evander among the eaters. What? <gasps> Bathilde and Evander gain the first kiss relationship, level 2 of 3 in romance? But, like, they don't match. Sometimes I think this game just tries to stir up drama for drama's sake. <laughs> <laughs> Which, okay, whatever, fine. But you just told me their affinity sucked. I wouldn't mind them getting together in the town because it saves on a house. But, <laughs> um, okay, whatever. Rich, so my thought process, why I like putting people together, like in Lakeburg, is to save on on you know your housing thing because it does cost more the more homes you build, and there is a cap as you can see here. Hell with it. Let's just build another house. Why not? We have the wood for it. Um, but, I mean, if they're just gonna have a romantic fling, then, oh my god, right here, first kiss. What? You didn't even kiss your husbando? Straight up kiss Evander first? Is that what that means? <laughs> oh no, first kiss together, perhaps. Morale plus five, production time. Ooh, it's good for production time, this uh, adultery. The date with Evander will start with a certain relationship, affinity plus three. Will you look at that? Yeah, Evander, you snake. He's unhappy. Why? Occupation. Yeah, because he's noble. He's a noble man, and he's and he's working, you know, in here. I don't quite know what noble, what buildings you nobles enjoy working in. To be honest with you. Okay, so we have this just pop up. It's when Hilde Chandler and Gabrielle Swift have met and developed the following feeling confident. So every now and then you'll get like these prompts, like around town of like I guess people running into each other. It's completely random. You can also see it here as well. It can get kind of clunky looking at it through here, so you can always expand it, but just know that it's here. You can also close it should certain UI things be blocking uh, your 
you're reading. Oh, we gotta, we gotta pause this. So we gotta barter for tan, for leather. I keep calling it tan, I don't know why. I'm gonna take a gamble here. It's gonna take quite some time for them to reach level three and where they're gonna need to get uh, the sewing. What is it, what kind of building is it? The sewing workshop. So we're actually gonna sell wood here. And then we're gonna call for the llama again, and then sell, oh, perfect. I said sell wood, but I meant leather. Great, so now we have a bunch of money, which is great, which means we can actually, oh. <laughs> okay, so we still need some more money, but what we can do now, is time running? Oh shit, time is running. Uh, we have, I'm gonna call the llama one more time. Okay, we're just gonna have Ernesto chill here for a second. Okay, we're gonna find Evander's spouse, and hopefully there'll be a hunter. Let's see if we can find a hunter. We have about, we have, we have quite a bit of hearts. Oh, here we go. So he's the man of the evening, which means we could put him in the brothel later, I guess, if he lives long enough. But um, he's a hunter aspiration, which is perfect. Good affinity, great. Evander with the funny trait means they get a boost to their affinity. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and write down their likes and dislikes. Now you may be saying, is that cheaty? Is that working around the game's mechanics? Yes. Is that mid maxi? Yes. Leave me alone. Talk about the importance of big cuddles in a loving relationship or attend the next public execution. Okay, he hates, he hates cuddles. So let's try the execution. Perfect, perfect. Uh, sitting in a cushion to meditate. He loves meditating. Sitting on a cushion to meditate. Do these people have nothing better to do? Okay, see, that's a negative connotation. And he loves muscles. So muscles are a true pinnacle of human evolution. So he loves that. Uh, propose the idea of picking some flowers in the fields. He loves flowers. Barnabas does. Oh, you love to see it. They're going to adopt and have a loving, loving relationship. I can see great things from this couple. Stop being a snake, will ya, Evander? And leave that married woman alone. Cool, we can throw Barnabas in here. Love to see it. Uh, they're going to get us leather pretty quickly now. I think we're in a pretty strong start. We have the McDonald family, the Ross family, the Swift family. And I just have this habit of wanting to make royalty out of the first family. How are they doing, by the by? Like, what is their relationship life? Do they even like each other? This would, Ooh. Oh, look at that. They're in love. They're obsessed with having a baby. This is great. I'm going to open this up just because I can. I love these two already, Gabrielle and Renhilde. Um, let's go ahead and read some of their uh, exploits. So this is when they met, shared a really interesting discussion. Um, Renhilde still has dreams of Gabrielle. Damn. Uh, that's so adorable. They think of each other. They, uh, Renhilde told a funny joke. She's, she's always been such a blast to be around, really. Uh, Gabrielle stopped changing perfumes, knowing Renhilde loved the ones he usually wears. It's that musk. It's that lumberjack musk. Renhilde took great care of Gabriel when he was sick. Oh, Renhilde looked at Gabriel with such intensity it made him blush. Damn it, Renhilde, you are one horny woman. And Gabriel can't let Renhilde can't let go of her scarf. He finds its scent comforting. <laughs> That's not the only piece of article of clothing he likes to smell. Okay, so I've been recording for about an hour now, and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and call the episode here. I think we've made pretty good strides getting this community together. Together. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. In the next episode, we will continue our uh, exploits, our town building, our serfdom, fur fiefdom, fur furrydom. We're going to keep building, folks. We're going to make a kingdom of our own. What do you say about that? Why not? Why not us? <laughs> I want to thank you all so much for watching. I do appreciate that. I appreciate you and everything you've done for me in that last video. I mean, come on. You guys are freaking amazing. So thanks. Okay, so I'll see you in the next episode, hopefully. Episode 2. So until then, I'll see you then. Bye for now.